Okay. Let us look into this, please. Very, very important. Welcome to the program. This is our homeland radio PF. Anchored by me, fearless I feel evangelist Maza Maraki Machubu. I am coming to you live from our right inside our studio. Then let us read from here. Never you support criminality in the name of fighting for Biafra in Igbo land. How do you kill my wife, child, uncle, father, cousin, etc., burned their houses and call them Sabo because you claimed you want to build a new house? Biafra for us. I ask you. So, somebody, if somebody want to, somebody, you were living in a house on your own, somebody say they want to build a house for you, right? And then um, the person choose to be killing all of you. Anybody they see, they kill. If you go to political garden where they give you rice, which is people should be will be doing their normal activities. What you don't need is somebody to leave his activity and be fighting what you are doing. People went to um, politician, brought something. The same thing you will say. Look at our people hungry, killing them in the village. How many of the politicians have go and ask for about about our people? And one may send rice. Go and share to them. Aged mother, both widows, will go and collect rice. Immediately you come back, Simon Eba gang, gentle. What is his name? And Jamaica, success, Butuzo. They will come and burn down the house of the widow. They will kill you. Even if your husband is, they will kidnap the husband and go and kill you. They will say you are Sabu. That why did you go? Thank you. This is our third broadcast today. Why did you go to the politician? Just like that. You are Sabu. You see? When they call for enforcement of sit at home, people did not sit at home. If you come out, they shoot you. They will ask you, why do you come out? You see? They will kidnap, they will kill, they will threaten. Anything they are telling you, if they want to call for sit at home, if you tell them no sit at home, instead of them to explain to you or to argue you, do you know what they will say? If you come out now, if you say you know they're here, come out. One day, what kind of house do they want to build for you? Never you support. Never you. If you must live inside the bush, if, there will be, if it is certain that there will be no house that will remain in Igbo land because they are not doing Biafra. Biafra is a rivers, delta, Bayesa, Akwaebom. Um, cross river, the instrument of uh, divide and rule. They are doing their their criminality in Igbo land, where the government told them to do it. Now, so it is a must that the whole house in Igbo land must be demolished. It is a must that people will be killed by us in Igbo land before the Afro will come. I'm asking you. Or do you think that people like us will allow evil to, for you to cover evil? We will keep reminding you crimes. That is why MG won't subu. Have me problem. He could tell me, in subu, up on subu. He chain aga fell aside there. I will still return back. And my fuko say. Nyendiro. And evil. Right? So, how do you accept people from other regions who have been hating you 
who have been sponsoring your downfall, who have been pursuing you in their regions, away from your, their region, killing you in their region, stopping you from voting in their region. They are the people that are now clapping for destruction of your region, of your house. They are the people clapping. They are the people, if you go to their profile, you see they are not doing Biafra. Do you understand? You will see there is nothing like that from on in their post. They don't care. Just to come on the comment section to deceive you. They are not from Igbo land. Some are the people, the same people from Igbo land, who can use their mother for ritual. Those who can use their child for ritual. Those who can save their child. They can still support the desertion of our land. Those who hate our freedom, politicians, some people that are rich who thought our freedom will affect them because they don't want anybody to rise. They are also clapping for the destruction of our place. And if you are not sensible, you go and join them to clap for the destruction of your place. Do you understand? So it is a must there will be no house. It is a must that everybody will be killed. It is a, when the after come, they will rebuild it. You see how your brain is. So you are supporting people to destroy our land. And you will say it's a freedom fighting. Ask yourself, where have it happened? That you will kill my wife, kill my son, kill my uncle. My cousin will ask you, why do you kill him? Kill his uh, brother. You kill my cousin. They ask you, say you want to build a new house for us. Ah, what kind of house is this? You burn the house of my late brother's wife. You burn it. You say she's sabu. She went and collect political rice. Two cup or five cup. You kill her. You burn her house down. Is she be sabu? <laughs> and that is Biafra. Hey, someone is doing well. You see, if you see people clapping such kind of clap, they are not from this region. And those that are from this region clapping are the haters of Namdekano. Their target is not Simon. Their target is in Namdekano. Their target is to heap the crime of Simon. Their target is to use Simon to destroy Namdekano's project. They are not here, just like Nigerian pastors during the election. Just like, like, just like other tribes in Nigeria during the election. They were supporting P2B not because they love him, not because they love Ibo man, but because they hate Biafra, they hate IPOB. So, and they cannot come out and challenge Namdekano and IPOB. We have won them in argument. So, the opposite side they can choose is to support P2B. Their aim is that if P2B become president, that Biafra struggle will suffer that. And if you don't, if you are not, if you are carried away, you say, ah, we have become one. They love us. No, they have agenda. They choose P2B being president and having you having Biafra. So, you see pastors hosting him then, hosting P2B, uh, bringing him, uh, uh, talking about him is a lie. They never love him. You saw other tribes, both not and No. Any people that supported P2B was, support, was against IPOB. Just few genuine Igbo people were just... Those people from other tribes never supported him because he's good. I'm telling you, just forget their comments. Their own hope is that this is the only hope they have in Nigeria now to remain. That if P2B is not president, that Igbo, Igbos have, Biafra have come. So then you cannot defeat IPOB. So the only thing is to support Igbo man to become president. Then that is the only thing they can do to fight Biafra. Do you understand? So now you know that as they are clapping for a baby man, it's not that they need Biafra or they want your land to be good or they want your welfare. No, they are from different regions. They know that a baby man is the opposition to Namdekan. The enemy will discover your opposition earlier and make them friends. Do you understand? So they gather to destroy our region. And blame on Namdekano because he's the one who called Biafra. Understand the game. 
All of them is not doing it because they want to give you Biafra. No, that is why they started with Free Namdi Kano. From Free Namdi Kano, they become first person. From there, they declare armed struggle. Free Namdi Kano is not just shouting. They were blackmailing IPOB, telling you to leave IPOB, telling you not to pro contribute to IPOB. Stop, small term. They told you don't listen to IPOB. Do you understand? Understand this. Small time, they told you they are doing their own. Small time, they told you you don't exist. Understand again. Understand again. Now, they are destroying our land. And we are fighting against it. Because the method Nigeria wants us to fight against it is not the method we fight it because Nigeria still want to use that one against us. But we said no. That is why you can see them shouting. Because they want to, they want type you to approach them in that way. And some people and IPOB also want us to approach them in the way that politicians want to shine with. That way politicians want to shine. That way that the politicians want to become good and IPOB will become victim. We can never fight the infiltrators that way. That very trap that Nigeria want to become the savior of our people instead of the, our pro oppressors. We can never allow it. That very thing you want us to play so that Nigeria will now rescue her. Now an army will now be the rescuer of our people from the hand of IPOB. This is the news you will hear. If we apply that to your method in fighting the infiltrators, the government sent them, the government published their news before you hear it. When they are killing our people, they will be videoing it. They will, do what? They will send it to government. If government tell them to post it, they will post it. Some of their crimes are with the federal government, not posted. When Simon Eberman, their gang is committing crime, they video it. Are you aware? Do you know that they post it to government? Government will know the one they will publish and tag IPOB. They will know the one they will take to UN. Nigeria will know the one they will take to EU. Nigeria will know the one they will take to Amnesty. But they choose the one they will publish and tag IPOB ESM. But IPOB will publish the video of ESM. Nigeria can never report it. But ask yourself, how come within five minutes of operation, Nigeria will publish what Simon Epp, a criminal gang, did and target IPOB ESM? One, they were aware of the of of the act of the the um, attack. One, they were aware of the attack. The media houses have written the, the right up already. Understand this. Anyone that Nigeria will publish, the media houses, they have informed them in the WhatsApp group where they added them, their editors, to write this thing down because it must happen. Just write it. Our boys are on the way now. They will do something. Immediately they do something. Publish it and say it's IPOB. It will not take five minutes that Simon Ebrimagandi do something, Nigeria Army will publish it and say it's IPOB, ESN. Reason with your sense. That IPOB will be publishing the video of ESN in action, fighting Flani Hespen, killing their cows. You can never see Nigeria publish it. Are you listening? Now you understand. If IPOB or ESN is doing evil, Nigeria will publish that activity. But they choose to replace the good activities of ESN with the evil crime of Simon Neba. They will present this crime to international community to represent the good works of ESN and you are not reasoning. You never ask yourself, all this IPOB ESN news by Nigerian government, why is it that we never hear that ESN kill cow? Nigeria cannot publish it because it is a legitimate duty. And ESN never shifted from it. But Nigeria will never report it. They will report criminal of Simon Epp and target IPOB ESL. Be true truth to yourself. What does that mean? What does that mean? If you are reasonable. So, do you not join any group to destroy Ibo land. Our father died to save here. And people cannot be killing you. Ujuku army did not kill our people. They were defending. But somebody, because you, you just 
Just if your brother is an army, do you know you are killed? In Imo State. If you have any army from your family, just to come and kill you, say you are a Sabo family. Are you aware? They will come and kill you. If your mother go and uh, collect any political, that is anything from political, she's gone. They will burn down your house. Where have that? Where does that happen? You come back, they will kidnap you, frozen your account, kill you. If they are killing you, they will tell you it's ESM. And when your people are calling them, they are collecting ransom, they will tell you it is money for ESM bullet. Understand this. But when they come out, they will tell you we are Liberation Army. But when they kidnap somebody, they will tell them you are not supporting ESM. So, even when they kill you, your family is aware, will take it that it is ESM that killed their people. Simon and Emily Magang would kidnap our people. They would tell them it's their ESM. They would collect their money, frozen their account, tell their family that they are ESM. That their brother, their father is not supporting ESM. And then they the can. They will kill that person. The person who have that grudges is ESM kill their people. Then they will come out and say we are Biafra Liberation Army. There is no ESM. Are you reasoning at all? In what sense? In what I'm saying, you only go. In my party, here now, now the government have come up openly in every time and condemn their activities. Last time, I say, has seen a hand in many media, no more. Now I ask, what is keeping vigilantes in communities to from joining others? Are you not seeing it? Since now the government say, Hana in many media, because people were leaving them thinking that they are doing it for can. Because people love Kano. They even accept the killings of their own for Kano to be free. But until we make them know today now, securities are looking for them. Not ESN, no. ESN on their, on their own. Our people know ESN doesn't kill. But this criminal killing them, they knew them. But they cannot go after them. They have already told them they are ESN commander. And our people respect them for this. And our people respect IPOB for this until we now the can clear the final aid the other day. Now they are catching them. People know them. People know this people. This man is a terrorist. They are now catching them one by one, one by one, one by one. Simon will not tell them now because now those about one thousand and that is in detention. He never tell them. Have you ever showed them picture of one of their member killed? No. <laughs> but you are fighting war. You doesn't lose a, a soldier. You see, he is here to kill our youth. If IPOB has victims, they will publish it. Whether missing, whether kidnapped, whether in jail, whether in military barrack, whether going to court, whether disobedient to court order, IPOB will keep alerting the world. Whether disappearance, we will be alerting the world. Have you ever seen them complain? Have you ever seen Simon complain that they lost anybody? Now ask yourself why. He is an instrument of killing our youth unnecessarily. He don't care those in detention. He don't care anybody. He don't care you die, you die and go. Nobody wants you. Nobody cares about you. Because he is here to destroy our land, destroy our youth. So that if there is war, we will no longer have them. But he is doing it with the name of Biafra. So you that is from Yoruba man, or from North, or from other tribes that hate our land, hate IPOB, or Igbo people who hate us, who think we are a threat to them, you are clapping for the destruction of our land. We are here to expose you. You can come to comment section to show that you are from another region. Because argument from somebody from our side, we know it. Though your profile picture, your profile name is a maker or a fanny or a madabuchi. It's not my business. Only your comment tells us who you are. No genuine Igbo man will support the destruction of our land by ourselves for Biafra to come. It doesn't happen. The killings of our people, using another people, today they told you no ESN, till tomorrow 
they are using the name of ESN to kidnap our people. That is their latest pattern. They will come to tell you, hey, we are liberation army, we are government in exile. Or God, they does not operate with it. They kidnap, they kill, they threaten, they frozen account with the name of ESN. Now, if they are proud of what they are doing, why can't they kidnap those our people with the name of Liberation Army? Why do they not kill with the name of Liberation? They kidnap you, frozen your account with the name of ESN. If your people call the kidnappers, they will say they are ESN. But the same people told you they are ESN will come up and tell you there is no more ESN on media. They will now tell you that they are Liberation Army. But behind, they commit crime with the name of ESN. Ask yourself their mission. Do you understand? This one are the third broadcast, third one. I'm still sitting here. I'm still sitting here. Thank you. Third one this morning. This is Nigeria, but no one who are you are you are dreaming. Makono yeji eke ogopano. You chase away one local government. Eke. <laughs> Alexander Karashin God. Oh, go on, Achen. The band make microphone, Achen, do you know, to her very far. Nyai Eke Naga found around something again in miles. Call 4,000 miles. How many miles on her? So we continue. So now, thank you. We do not say that devil, upon what Christians are saying about devil, that devil does not have supporters. That does not make devil good. That the Tunubu have so, Tunubu upon the cry of people, he still have supporters. Are you understanding? That the APC is torturing people. People are rigging election for them. In Imo. Regulation for them in a dust state does not make them good. That you see people from different people clapping for Simon, claiming that their friends are with him, does not guarantee you good. Are you understanding? Are people not shouting one Nigeria? Are they getting one Nigeria? Does that make Nigeria good? I'm asking. So this is it. Are people not supporting Fulani Hesman? Are people not supporting Fulani Hesman? Are people not um, backing up um, Boko Haram? Was people not with Buhari? Upon all the cry of people. So even people are voluntary to go and looking for Lucifer to serve him. Upon how he has been designed. So that you are closer to a criminal clapping, does it mean that criminal does not have lovers? Does that automatically make the criminal to be good? No. You follow criminal because you are a criminal. You believe lies because you are a liar. You believe, you believe wicked people because you are wicked. Do you understand? So you clap for the destruction of our land because you hate our land. You support the killings of our people because you hate our people. Don't replace it with Biafra. No. You can only use it to deceive people, but we know people that love our land. Are you understanding? I preach Biafra 10 hours. I preach Biafra 8 hours. I preach Biafra 6 hours. The 6 hours are outstanding. I'm going to word. Standing. Do you understand? I preach Biafra from 10 o'clock in the night till 5 30 in the morning. No sleeping. I was preaching Biafra from 10 in the night until 5 30 in the morning. 
<laughs> you see how dangerous we are. Thank you. Thank you. So, when you see people clap, hey, now people are following Simon. Hey, we are with him. People are with Lucifer. You know that way? If you leave your church and become a pastor, will people not be with you? People that divide their church, are people not with them? I'm asking you, are people not with you when he was killing us in Obi? Are people not with you? Are you not seeing traditional rule of those of them are killing our people? Are you not seeing it? Those that are with him? Are you not seeing people walking with Ebubago, even as Ebubago killed his brother? Do you not see people walking with them? Are you not seeing people brought to Kuba to come and kill us? Even as they know that the Kuba threatened our people, does that make him a good man? So you are with Simon and he kill our people, you become a good man. Because he, you are with him. Who can confirm your identity? I will keep dealing with them in truth and in honesty. Maybe I can walk. This is Chagano Rural. Do you understand? So, don't be deceived with their game of deceit. Every day, new agenda. None is working. None is achievable. That is why those people that are with him, they don't ask. Because they don't need to ask. They know what he's doing. Some of them are with another, from another region. Hence, you ask question, they would cross you and give you a new agenda. They don't want you to know. They bought over pages on social media. They bought them over. You don't know the people posting. They change it to Biafra. They change it to anything. All you know is to go and read their post. Do you know them? No. Who are they? So my comment section, clapping for killing our people. They will ask them, why do you come out? Hey, you will be so... Are you understanding? They don't have argument. Their latest argument, leave someone here by loan. The, the person is from Yoruba. The person is not in the struggle. If the person is in the struggle, he will know that Simon Eber started with blackmailing of IPOB. He never moved without condemning IPOB. And the person that will come and tell you, leave Simon Eber, look at his final uh, comment. What is your DOS doing? The same person that tells you, leave Simon. Are you understanding? Because he cannot argue with you. He is from another region. He don't know what you are doing. He was only there to clap. He is only there to clap. That's all. Do you understand? So, you should not be deceived with the destruction of our land. If somebody clap for the burning of somebody's house, ask him if that is his house. Not that Nigeria army burn your house. No. Somebody who says he's fighting for freedom, kidnap your husband, frozen their camp, killed him. And come to the wife of your brother, that your late brother. Because the wife will go and collect rice from politicians that shared, even as we campaign on media and say, our, our people are hungry. You are eating everything. You don't want to give them. If they bring a small thing to share for them, immediately you go and collect it. Bam. Simon never gang will come and kill you. They say you are a politician. Hey, you are the politician doing us. Are you understanding? They are liberation army in your face, but behind they are ESL. But to you, they tell you ESL is not existing. But they kidnap your brother with the name of ESN. When you call them, they will tell you they are ESN. That you, 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 do, you don't, your, your father or your brother is not supporting ESN. They, they don't support Biafra. 
So you will pay them money for ESM bullet. On torture, the person may die. They will still collect the money. You will not hear from them again. Then the family will have the mind that ESN is with their brother. They will be complaining to us. The same people that is with their brother, their father, their son, their daughter, is the person that will come in the morning tell you there is no ESN. But they are already kidnapping Igbo people, killing them with the name of ESN. People are with them in the name of ESN. Are you understanding? That is the kind of criminality we are facing. But we are defeating them because we refuse to dance in the tune whereby the politician expected for them to shine. I will be a sign of wash. The corner I had a chat. That's why they are silent. Hash on open combating. Hey, nah, other pilot and the IPOB is fighting war. They are shooting in a, in a way. Hey, other pilot, Liberation Army and the ESN, see them shooting, shooting in all. Hey, that's what the politician wanted. Now, who will be the mediator? Nigerian Army. Hey, Nigerian Army in a peace. Peacekeeping in MN on the war between autopilot and IPOB. Are you getting the news? Nigeria may now come to rescue people of MN. <laughs> These are what they said. But we said no. You know they fight in that manner. We could deal with them as we are dealing with them. They are getting the, the heat and they have no ground to complain. But if you come in that pattern, they want, even some people are here, they want us to do that, but they don't know. Though not in a sabotage, but as it is in their mind, but they don't know it is wrong. Both in international level, very, very wrong. You see, if we can sustain the heat of Nigerian state, and Nigeria cannot sustain the heat of Namdekanu broadcast. They went and committed international offense, extraordinary rendition. Now, who is capable of governing themselves? Is it not IPOB? Now, IPOB was provoked. They controlled themselves based on law, right? Nigeria was provoked by Namdekan and IPOB. They refused to control themselves based on law. They went against law. Now ask yourself, who is capable of ruling self? IPOB or Nigeria? <laughs> IPOB now. IPOB now. Eh? We merit it. Upon Nigeria is provoking us, we follow law. We provoke Nigeria. They refuse to follow law. Who is capable of ruling? Who is who merited to be a government? There must be provocation, but how do you handle it? How did IPOB handle provocation? That makes them that that proves that they have leadership. How do they handle provocation? Internal provocation, outward provocation, government provocation. Now, how did the Nigeria handle? IPOB provocations. Or are we try? Are we here to make you happy? They don't handle it well. Do you see where we went? Now the same thing they said between us and the traitors. They are confused the way IPOB is handling it. Are you understanding? You may have my thought brokers, but I have given out what I want to give out here. Anybody that come across it, that. Is genuine, must have sense. Nareke Elena wrote to Ezudo, Narambulelu, Ibuchi, Inadi, Rebi, Bimakoba, Chita, Email Ezudo, Email Ezama, Email Ezemeri, Email Ezi Hunanya, Email Achileke Mbuchi, Chileke Nden Nanaya, Chileke Ego Sihan Lidi Chiche, Ainga Neri, Chileke Nkuzri Han Hinine, Hagwarani, Kaine Meko Adrai Namma, Nareke Elena wrote to Chileke Oju, Chineke ndia oju, chineke IPOB. Ime le zudo, chineke namdekano. Aye bulie gelu, aya chagema, aya sopruge. Ina di rebiebi, 
na rekele na rotu to na hage chi ugu okike abia amara poro ime ihe nile we have prayed ise 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 thank you 